So we'll pass to the second half, uh, which consists of the Cesar from Sonata, originally for violin and piano, but tonight played on cello and piano very beautifully by Nathaniel Pierce and Charles Um This piece was written in 1886. You'll see it's towards the end of Cesar Franck's lifetime. It was written to fulfill a need. At this time in France, there's very little French chamber music. And there was a society created, you know, the French are always creating societies. The National Society for Watermelons, or something like that. There is a National Society for the Advancement of French Music that was founded by Saint-Saëns, César Franck, a bunch of other composers. And Franck wrote this sonata to be premiered on that uh, concert series that they had. Um, we call César Franck the French Beethoven, in a way, because his music is uh, highly <coughs> organized motivically and also harmonically. For instance, you will hear at the beginning of this piece, Joe Sun very conveniently left the music up here, that it starts out with this phrase. So you will hear how he, this is called cyclic form, that he brings back these motives and these intervals all throughout. Um, this piece happens to be one of the most difficult piano parts for violin sonatas ever written. You will hear that the first movement is airy fairy, it's very beautiful. Second movement is hell for the pianist, absolutely. You'll see Jung Sun's doing very, very well with it. The third movement is a kind of recitative or, or free fantasy over these themes. And the last movement is a very glad movement. Um, like church bells at a wedding or something like that. So we hope that you will enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 